Hello there, and welcome back to MTG Delving Dragons. Today we are going to be looking at my three favourite commanders from Battle for Valder's Gate. Alright, so these aren't in any particular order, for one thing, and for another, these aren't the best commanders in my opinion. They just look like fun commanders which could be used to make a really fun deck. First up, we have Ragadraga, Gorgut's boss. Ragadraga is two, a red and a green, for a 4-4 with Creatures with mana abilities get plus two plus two, and whenever a creature with a mana ability attacks, untap it, basically giving them vigilance. It also has, whenever a spell is cast, if seven or more mana was spent to cast it, target creature gets plus seven plus seven, you also untap it, and it gains trample. So, not only does it have a lot of fun abilities built around mana abilities, but in the late game, you can generally finish off your opponents with its last ability. So, it sounds like a fun deck, similar to Kinnon, but instead of being Simic, it's Grull, and it's a bit more aggressive, less ramp based. So, yeah, it looks fun. It's got well, I guess in this deck you'd run a lot of Llanowar Elves, because they're just one green three threes with Vigilance that can also tap for green. So yeah, just very fun deck. Next up is Alawando the Seer. Alawando is two, a blue and a green, for a three five with tap. Draw a card, then exile a card from your hand and put a number of time counters on it equal to its mana value. It gains when the last time counter is removed from this card. If it's exiled, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you cast a creature spell this way, it gains haste until end of turn. Then remove a time counter from each other card you own in exile. This card looks super strong in a suspend deck which is great because until now suspend didn't really have a specific commander it had Jura of the Gitu which could suspend cards but Jura was generally just used to get extreme value rather than actually as a suspend commander it is kind of sad that Alawando isn't in Tamir because Red has a strong sub-theme of removing encounters, time counters from exiled cards. So yeah, this card feels very similar to Jora of the Gitu. The differences include Jora costs 2 mana, he has tap, to activate their abilities. This means that you can use Jora's multiple times, but it costs resources. You can also use Alawando's multiple times, but um, not as easily. You have to untap him using abilities. Um, Jora excels it with three time counters, I think it is. Meanwhile, Alawando excels it with a, num a number of time counters on it equal to its mana value, which means it's way more difficult to cheat out big cards. Jura specifies non-land, while with Alwundo, you can technically suspend a land card. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Alwundo also has draw card, and whenever you tap him, he removes a time counter from each other card you own in Excel. I'm not sure whether the time counters he puts on cards are removed automatically, like, at the beginning of each upkeep, they all remove a time counter. But it seems like the wording's a bit ambiguous, so it could mean that the time counters, the only way to remove them is with cards that remove time counters, such as, well, Alawando himself, or, um, 
Fury Charm, is it? And other cards like that. Alright, so next up we have Captain Nagathrod. Captain Nagathrod is 3, a blue and a black for a 3-6 with horrors you control have menace. Whenever a horror you control deals combat damage to a player, that player mills that many cards. And at the beginning of your end step, choose target artifact or creature card in an opponent's graveyard that was put there from their library this turn. Put it onto the battlefield under your control. So yeah, Captain Nagathrod is a squid pirate, looks pretty similar to a famous character from Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm sure you can all guess who. Looks like a really fun card with Horror Tribal. Horror Tribal is of course pretty new, it was introduced in Crimson Vow. All in all, good card. Really fun if you mill out your opponent a lot because gets you a bunch of value. Also good card in theftery decks like send triplets because generally you like to steal your opponent's cards and send triplets. I mean if you're building a send triplets deck or a Xanathar deck without cards that steal your opponent's cards then I'm not really sure what the point of that is. But yeah, fun card. Um, honorary mentions include Lulu Loyal Holophant because it's a flying elephant that doesn't look like it can get sued by Disney. Glunch the Bestower, because it's a jellyfish. And Will Blade of Frontiers, because we finally needed a dice rolling c commander. So yeah, those are my top three favourite commanders from Battle for Baldur's Gate. Um, tell me what you think in the comments.